Yeah, we continue to see cars uh, flooded out here. It looks like a, a, a wrecker is helping another vehicle over there, or I, or did he get stuck? You think you guys he think hurt. he got stuck? You think he got stuck? Yeah, we have we have quite a few people uh, gathered with us underneath the overpass here. Um, James James Ross, I was talking to you earlier. Tell me what you were doing. You were trying to get to your wife, right? Yeah, she was over in West U and. Um, She's since been taken in by a neighbor over there who was nice enough to let her be in her nice dry house. So at least I'm not worried about her. So. What all have you seen as you've been sitting here? How long have you been here and what have you seen? I've been here about an hour and a half and I just see uh, some cars get through and some don't. But not a lot of them are making it through. Does it look like the water's receding? Not at all. How long are you prepared to, to sit here? Got no choice. I'm going to be here a while. <laughs> and what's the situation with her car? It's flooded out. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Yeah. I'm sorry. Did she say it came up fast or she caught her off guard? Kind of caught her off guard because I think there was patches of the road that were clear and a uh, warning light came on in her Mercedes and said, hey, the little wavy light came on. I said, you need to get out of that hot water. And, and then as she was talking to me, her car cut off. So. But as we've been sitting here, we've also seen people rescued. Um, there was a gentleman over here who was trying to help, you know, help get people out of the car earlier. Yeah. And yeah, that gentleman there, he's been a hero out here helping people get out of their cars. Yeah, he is um, a record driver. Lewis, come here. He says he's been here since 11, right? Is that right, Lewis? Yes, ma'am. Since 11, and what have you seen here since then? I've seen all these cars get flooded since I've been here. That one over there on the end has been shifting around because of the water. Every time somebody a car passes by, it shifts over. So this is good for business for you, but what do you recommend? What, what, what do you tell folks? Stay at home. Don't drown. Turn around. That's what the commercials are. And even if it's not high enough that you might, you know, You'll get still get a, flooded, a, a, yes. That's a scary situation too, right? You come it across is. people like that all the time, I'm sure. And oh, yeah, well, I how, do. How, I mean, they are not, they're probably scared. Do they? What do they tell you if, if you're rescuing people from flooded water? They usually are scared whenever they are like that. So we have a City of Bel Air um, high uh, clearance vehicle over there. It looks like they're going through, probably checking cars. Looks like they're going to try to turn turn here or, or perhaps check these cars. We have checked all the cars here under the uh, overpass, and it appears that they are all uh, empty. On the other side, there's a woman still in her car, but it didn't look like she wanted to abandon it yet. She was kind of up on, on uh, a curb. Uh, the, the car, I don't think, was moving anymore, but she was, she was okay. Uh, but it looks like these folks over here are checking for anybody who might be stranded. Let's see if we can listen in. It sounds like uh, the driver is still in this cab over here, so uh, these uh, Bel Air City workers, probably, uh, I'm thinking firefighters. I'm not sure. Looks like he's gonna, no, uh, police officer. Uh, looks like he's gonna go check the, check the cab over here, see if they're okay. What? Yep, yep, sure, of course. Let's watch as he uh, asks this cab driver, and he's telling that that driver right there it's not a good idea to go through he wouldn't recommend it and you can see he's got that long metal pole checking for uh, any possible curbs or manhole covers that might be coming up when we walk through these floodwaters we shuffle our feet um, don't take any big steps uh, let's see this ups driver is going to go through and totally create a huge wake for us We've seen quite a few of, of them get through pretty easily. This is a problem area right here in Bel Air, Bissonette and the West Loop. As we watch that a police officer check the cab to see if uh, he needs, it looks like the, the cab, the driver's in the back seat or he's got a fare in the back seat, I'm not sure. I can't get over there that quickly. Fran, Francisco's up there. It looks like he might be the, is, is that the cab driver? And that Bel Air City worker just warned us about manhole covers floating up. It's certainly a problem. 
uh, during these situations can be very dangerous. I think Francisco's telling him where there's another vehicle with uh, a woman still inside. And as we take a look down Bissonette, you can see all of that traffic backed up because of this. Yeah, he's able to get, get him out, get to safety. Okay. How many people have you found like this? I don't know. A couple. Quite a few. There's a lot more that come out. It's, it's pretty dangerous, right? The drive through? Wouldn't recommend it? I don't know. This water is about thigh deep on me. And as you can see, those uh, City of Bel Air public works trucks, they, they become rescue trucks during flood times. This is a little tenuous over here as we walk towards the curbs. He's just helping that cab driver to uh, high ground, higher ground. And then they'll move on to the next place where people might need help. He did just say that, the police officer did say that it's uh, more problems down uh, at the West Park exit. And you can see all that traffic up there on 59. It doesn't look like it's moving. I'm not sure what the situation is on, on uh, the West Loop as they try to head north on 59. If you guys can still hear me, talk to me. Yeah, we can yeah, still. Yeah, we, we can see. In. We were just, you know, watching okay. him get out of that cab there. I'm sorry. I apologize. I just had, couldn't hear anything for a while. We got a lot of exhaust now in the air from uh, these trucks trying to get through and and not not making it. Yeah, you can actually see that exhaust the, the coming out of there. The electronics out here are not 100%, so I was a little worried that I that I lost you or you lost me. Jessica, but, we were uh, kind of following like him. That, um, yeah, we were kind of following. now with his belongings and up on higher ground, and they're checking on this. Uh, I think this there's a truck up here that's creating all that exhaust. They're checking on whether they need help. Jessica, I know you were able to talk over to there. a little bit. I don't know if Jessica can hear us right now. Can you still hear us, Jessica? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. I, I know you went over there, and so did that other, um, I guess, uh, Bel Air uh, city employee. Did the gentleman say why he was just kind of sitting in there? Was he waiting for somebody to come kind of help him out? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Can you repeat that? Say it again. Yeah, we knew, we saw he was sitting in there and he was recognized by this Bel Air City official in front of you uh, or employee. Did the gentleman in the uh, mm -hmm. yellow cab say why he's continued to stay in there? Did he want someone to kind of help him out? Let me, uh, let me see if I can get over and ask him. Uh, it's hard to, to walk very fast through these floodwaters, so that's why I apologize. Plus my boots are now weighted down. I've got some, some water in there now. Let me ask if I, let's see if I can ask him. And we could certainly see Sarah? that there were leaves up on his car so, that had been much, much deeper. Yeah. So you're dry now. You're dry now. Um, were you, were you, were you uncomfortable getting out? Were you waiting for somebody to rescue you? What, what, no, what was no, the situation? I was just waiting for the tow truck. Had you already called one? I already called one. So what happened? Did it come up fast? Did you think you can get through? Uh, I was trying to turn back when I when I found it, uh, when I found out that it was going uh, down. So I was trying to make a U-turn and, and uh, go back, but the uh, the car stopped. Yeah. So. And the officer said he didn't want you sitting in there anymore. Nah, he didn't want me to sit in there. He said because it might still rain and it might be flooded, so and it might, it might be difficult for me to get out at that time because uh, my tow truck said it will be here in another one to two hours. That was why I was sitting inside the car. You'd be waiting a long time. Were you comfortable in there, or were you a little concerned, nervous, I was, scared? I, was, I don't want to leave the, uh, the van there inside the rain, because I, somebody might hear it or anything might happen. So I decided to wait till the tow truck gets here. So that was the main thing. So I, was, I wasn't worried, because I know that uh, I know, uh, just, I'm just concerned about the drug being uh, 
beaten Dummy. hit. Le le yeah. uh, sure. Because th is that your livelihood? That's your. That's what you do for a living. Yeah, that's what I do for a living. So, so what are you gonna do now? Are you gonna sit and wait until a tow truck comes? Yeah, I will wait for the tow, tow truck to come. Sir, what's your name? My name is Mac. Okay, Mac, I appreciate it. Thank uh, you for talking to us. Thank Good you so luck, much. and I'm sorry that uh, you're going through this. No, no problem. No problem. That is the mother nature, so you can't control that. And we'll all get through it together. I know. All right, thank you. Thank you. You have a nice day. Thank you. Well, in fairly good spirits, and um, let's look over uh, here. I think we have another. Oh, they're checking on that truck. We saw this truck go through the intersection earlier. Uh, they were trying to make it through, and it looked like water got into the tailpipe, and then they continued to go. And then they had to stop. And he's checking on this SUV. There was a woman in this SUV earlier. She didn't want to get out. She, she kind of gave us the okay sign that she was fine where she was. But I'm sure this officer is going to want to get her out. Yeah, and we heard that from police true. officers I mean, you don't know if, earlier. Uh, just um, what the cab driver Mac was telling us. You'd never know if more rain's going to come, if more water's going to come, the cars start to move, and then the door becomes right hard to, re to really open. Exactly. So You're stuck in the car and you, yes, people we don't out know if of the it's cars going up or down. As, as soon as, as quickly as possible. It's not a safe place to be. Do not stay in your car if you can get out. Yeah. Looks That's like he's trying to get the door open. She, she might have somebody in the back seat. I'm not sure. It is starting to rain a little, a little harder now. Oh, look, there's a child back there. He's helping her out. A little girl. Oh, she's probably. I'm sure that's scary. Probably trying to get to school or somewhere. I see her backpack right there. Hope she's not not too yeah. scared. Knows everything's gonna be okay. Yeah, I'm sure. And Mom... I know Maya was talking about it earlier, but it is quite a predicament, you know, when you have your kids at the school and and uh, the rain's coming. Do you do you go and pick them up now? Do you wait until later? Um, you're not quite sure what to do. Is it is is it better to shelter in place? I know the schools, you know, want their people to be able to get home. So it looks like there are two children in the back seat and the officers having them get out and get to this office building. This office building over here to the right has been shelter for a lot of people this afternoon. Friends helping them get their stuff with their backpacks and get them to the the curbs are tricky, as you can imagine. Yeah, I bet it's they deep. are, Jessica. It's one of the, right there. One of the kind of uh, and neat it can be tools traumatic for that we saw with the uh, with the this kids. officer right here. He's got this kind of walking stick, so he can navigate those curbs, and also he's got it out mm -hmm. in front of him just to make sure he doesn't hit anything tricky uh, as he's walking through uh, water, which is so murky that you know you can't see exactly where you're walking. But well, you feel yeah. for this mom and her kids, and it is it is dark. It's hard to see anything. And, yeah. you know, this is when we talk about all those things, too, floating in the water. Yeah, and we really, as you said, we feel for these moms that, you know, they're trying to keep their kids like in a safe spot. They're trying to get them home from school. We do want to mention HISD has told us that they are going to be doing regular school dismissal, which is for most of us coming up at 3 o'clock, 3.15, just before 3. Um, and uh, apparently they are counting on most of those roads to be clear enough to get kids home. But certainly uh, from all authorities, the message has been don't go to school and try to pick up your kids. They're safe where they are.